Hey everyone, what is up? And look at what we got here. We're going to do a little multinomial regression. Now remember, multinomial regression, unlike the Titanic, has more than two dependent variables that are nominal. So we're going to get two packages and this is going to be cool. So check it out. I mean, I don't know how cool, but somewhat cool, maybe a little cool. Now, you know, you got to, you know, you have to install these. So we're going to get mlogit. That's one that you can use. The other one is we're going to use the net package. I think it's from Russia and yet means no, no means no. So mlogit though, we're going to use a data out of there. So all you do is data, right? We're going to use the phishing. Who doesn't like to fish? There we go. So let's view it. As you can see, we can just stick it up here and view it now. So we're going to be able to see it. So you get the mode. That's where you want to go. So this is a dependent variable. Are you going to take a charter, boat, pier? So that should be harbor, boat, charter, beach, etc. Right? How are you going to fish? Well, if you got a lot of money, that's what we're going to see. Check it out. We're going to do income. Income's a common variable. So, whoa, these people... Uh, you got 70 grand or 70,083, I don't know, whatever it is. But this, we're going to see if it predicts the mode, the boat. Either you get on a boat, get on the charter, you get on a beach, or you get on the pier. No surprise, if you're on the pier, you're really poor. All right, now you don't have to be poor, but regardless. So what we're going to do is just a multinomial, and we're going to really uh, do this. Oh, we also need the stargazer. Right? Stargaze. Oh, Stargaze is not on here. That means good. This is a good time to install packages. Stargaze. And now, Stargaze is kind of a cool package because it allows you to do a broad range of different things uh, to print out results in a different way and we're going to need it anyways not just to do it in a different way print out the results but we're going to have to essentially use stargazer in order to get what we call the p-value because students feel comfortable with the p-value so we're going to do it so let's do it it's just normal regression right so we're just going to do let's call it something what do we call who fishes who fishes nemo fishes all right let's get nemo Right, so we're gonna do the, it's called multi, look at that, multi-norm, it's in the NET package, that's Russian, N-N-E-T, NET, no. Uh, so multi -norm. so our dependent variable is the mode, right? Let's see if we can check it out, find it here. Oh, it doesn't come up, I didn't attach it. You can still do it without attaching it, but uh, why don't we attach it, hold on. So we're gonna attach, because it's still in the system because of the way it is, but I'm gonna just attach it so it comes up. All right. So now we're gonna be able to like, look at mode, see it's right there. Uh, so let's go back up. So we got the Nemo, Nemo's gonna play with us today and we're gonna do mode and income. And then data equals fishing. Now it always says the weights, the initial value, et cetera. For this quick video, don't worry about those things. So then we're gonna do a summary. Nemo. I don't know if I like that movie. All right. So then you look at it and you have pair boat Chata, right? And that's the income. These are just the coefficients. It's not giving you the p-value. But it looks like there's a lot of movement here, meaning that you remember, oh yes, I better stress this. When we do any kind of logistic regression, multinomial regression, et cetera, it's by the base. So mode, chata, right? Boat is boat there. Pier, beach, 
Now, beach is there, A, B, C, D, C, A, B, C, D, E, C, B, E, B, and E come first. So you got pier, boat, charter. That ends up being the first. We're not going to relevel it right now, but you can relevel this in order to make it pier, boat, charter, etc. So what we want to see now is what's the p-value? We see big time movement here and we can interpret that without the p-value, which is fine. But although look at it, it is scientific. So we're going to have to check that out. Let's use the stargazer, right? Package. And it's just, well, basically stargazer from stargazer. Pretty cool, huh? So when you look at that, it's, it's kind of interesting. We're just going to use the stargazer as a, a function in order to get it. So what do we call this Nemo? All right, so you put in this first, you don't put data equals Nemo. I tried that once and nothing came up um, except probably errors. So you want to essentially put that up there, right? So you've got the multinome and then that, and then we want to put it as text. You can do other things. I like it to be in here. That is in the other thing. I think it pops up if you put HTTP or something like that. But anyways, text, oops. So um, it's going to be in the type. It's going to be in. There then. Now, this is the strange part. It took me a, a, a bit to get it, but you have to report it. VC times P. So report. And right there, you see it's from Star, Stargazer, right? And this is kind of the weird thing about this because uh, it doesn't seem to make much sense, but you want to write like that. VC times P. Um, and it's basically saying you want the P values. Now it's just right now, look at, because it's here, it has, so remember everything, the logic of coding is interesting because everything basically has to um, be in parentheses. You can't leave an open parentheses and it keeps going. Now that's an interesting thing, VCP, uh, and you've got it. So here it comes out. What I like about it, it says literally dependent variable. That's why Stargaze is an interesting package, right? It, it, it uh, demonstrates the results with like the word dependent variable. So you kind of uh, get it. Um, and it's essentially saying that, let's take a look. Boop, 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 boop. Let's take a look here. Stargazer, is my thing coming up? Let me see, BCP. It's saying essentially that the first two are significant and the other one isn't at a p-value of uh, 135. So what it's saying is peer versus um, beach is charter versus beach. That doesn't surprise me as much. Um, but boat obviously is significant. You got the three stars there. P equals 0 0.00001. The other one 0 0.00000, which means is statistical significance there. So this basically is saying uh, in this one, there is no statistical significance, which, you know, Charter Beach, maybe the price, the income isn't that significant at predicting between Charter and Beach. Now, let's say you wanted to know Charter and Boat up here, you've got a boat and you want to compare it to Charter, then you'll have to relevel it. But that's for another time. So let's recap this really quick because there's a lot of um, data that is like this, right? I mean, there's not everything's going to be like the Titanic. If you watch that video, where you just say zero, one, yes, no. I mean, there is a lot, but there's going to be a lot with more uh, dependent variables that have a host of nominal variables. So we got the mode here. That's the type basically you're on. A chata. Right? Would that be a charter boat, I assume? A boat, you're on the pier, right? The harbor, I would say. Bo and then obviously boat a charter, beach, etc. So we do the regular, and then obviously our independent variable, the causal is income. 
So what I want to know here is that in the formula, you look mode, the dependent variable, and income being the predictor, then obviously data fishing. So in this, when anytime you do multinomial logistic regression, you are essentially have a base. You'll have a base. And this base here obviously is beach because of B A E. I'm not that smart, so I have to go A, B, C, D. Okay. Uh, so if there was something with an A, like you were in an apple, I don't know, that would come first. That would be the base. And the uh, multinomial function just comes out with the coefficients. Now, there are some good papers that just use that. They say Bayesian analysis uh, not really uh, depending on the p-value, but I kind of like the p-value because it, one, it's continually used with post hoc tests, and two, it kind of takes away that uh, intersubjectivity. So it's the either is or isn't. So we see here, Pierre and Beach, there is a significance. We see Boat and Beach, no um, uh, uh, surprise there. I am a little surprised at the pair where you're on the pair of the beach, and then Chada. And 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 beach, whether you're fishing from Chada, I don't know if that's a boat, things there's no significance. So that's very, very interesting results if you're uh, interested. So in case you know you are looking at data that is more multinomial, that is the dependent variable is nominal and you have more than two, you kind of want to use the multinom function. Uh, there also is one for... Um, mlogit and that actually gets even deeper into this stuff because you can actually do two variables together i won't explain that now because that might get kind of confusing so that's a multinomial uh regression model i hope you everyone enjoyed that and take care